Hello and welcome to Elite Geospatial. My name is Shamaki. Today we are going to be looking at NDVI. And uh, this NDVI, we are going to be doing it uh, on ArcGIS desktop. So I'm using ArcGIS desktop 10.8.2. Uh, but before we get into the video, I just want us to get familiar with uh, some of the terminologies of um, what NDVI is. Alright, so let's get into the video. So what is NDVI? NDVI stands for Normalized Differential or Difference Vegetation Index, NDVI. So what does it do? It quantifies vegetation by measuring the difference between near and infrared, which vegetation strongly reflect as more like um like we can just say okay if it's a container now that very region or the portion that vegetation uh reflects strongly as a near infrared and then red light which the vegetation absorbed so these are the two uh things you need to the near infrared and the red light so uh, the near infrared where the vegetation strongly reflects and the red lights which the vegetation uh, absorbed. So this is uh, an example of NDVI of a job I did. So I just added it for you to see. All right. So branches in NDVI. NDVI is the most common index that analysts use in remote sensing. But how do you calculate it? What do NDVI values represent? How do Earth scientists use NDVI? So just like some kind of question I put down. So, so NDVI always ranges from minus one to plus one. But there isn't a distinct boundary for each type of land cover. For example, when you have a negative values, like when you after you've done the NDVI and you see a negative value either minus one and all that uh, it strongly suggests or it's likely telling you that it's a water body and then on the other hand if you have an NDVI value close to plus one that tells you that it's going to be the possibility of uh, a, a dense vegetation or so dense green leaves and all that so then when NDVI is close to zero, there are likely no green leaves and it could even be an urbanized um, area. All right. So, so how do you calculate NDVI? So NDVI uses the near infrared and the red channels in its formula. So we have this formula as NDVI equals to near infrared minus red all over near infrared plus red. So healthy vegetation which chlorophyll reflects more near infrared and green light compared to other wavelengths, but it absorbs more red and blue light. This is why our eyes see vegetation as the color green because of that explanation above. So if you could see near infrared, then it will be strong for vegetation too. Satellite sensors like Landsat, which is the most common, and Sentinel-2 both have the necessary band with uh, near infrared and red. So how do you calculate NDVI? The result of this formula generates a value which this formula is 0 0.5 minus 0 0.80 all over 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 equals to 0 0.7, something like that. So the result of this formula generates a value between minus 1 and plus 1. If you have low reflectance or low values in the red channels and high reflectance in the near infrared channel, this will yield a high NDVI value and vice versa. Right? So NDVI is a standard standardized way to measure healthy vegetation. When you have high NDVI values, you have healthier vegetation. That's a positive value. Like we say minus one and plus one minus one signifies the water body and plus one uh, very strong vegetation and all that. So when you have a low NDVI, you have less or no vegetation. 
Generally, if you want to see vegetation change over time, then you will have to perform an atmospheric correction that is on the Landsat or on the um, Centennial, the image you have to perform an atmospheric correction for you to really have a nice or a good result. So band use for NDVI. For Landsat 7 data, NDVI is equals to band 4 minus band 3 divided by band 4 plus band 3. For Landsat 8 data, NDVI is equals to band 5 minus band 4 divided by band 5 plus band 4. So these are the band used for NDVI. So we're using the Landsat, um, we're going to demonstrate this now. We're using the Landsat um, 8, so we're going to be using um, band 5 minus band 4 dividing by that band 5 plus band 4. Alright, so let's go into our software for a demonstration. So I'm here in ArcGIS 10.8.2. So these are the two bands I brought. This is band 5 and this is band 4 for the NDVI. So I'm not going to cut out the portion of this uh, the location I intend to study, but in subsequent videos where I'll have to share some other things in this uh, NDVI and all that, um, we will get that sorted. So for this, we're going to use this whole scene to do the calculation. All right. So um, still on here, if we go to next, we have NDVI calculation. The NDVI rates can be calculated using raster calculator in ArcGIS and also in Erdas. But in Erdas, it is not a raster calculator. So I have a video which I have done. I'll drop the link on this. So I've done the video on how to calculate NDVI on Erdas imaging. So you can check it out so that you know which one is easier and better for you. All right. So I'll be making video to compare the two uh, softwares in terms of NDVI and others in the coming videos. So also check, stay tuned and check out. All right, so let's go back to ArcGIS for our calculation. So we're going to be using raster calculator. Uh, you can uh, search for raster calculator or So we have raster calculator search and then so if you want to know where this raster calculator is you right click on this very raster calculator and then you go to locate in catalog so it's going to take you to the tool so it's in a data management then so the spatial analyst then map algebra then we have raster calculator so you double click on it now you're going to use the uh, this thing called float then you before you impute your formula band 5 minus band 4 divide by you can either still use the float then put band 5 plus and four. Either you put that, but the first one is a must, but the second one you don't really need to worry yourself. So I'm just going to leave it at a default for which is going to be in document actual default your database. All right, so I'm going to click on OK. So allow it to process and give us our NDVI value. So let me remove this so that we, once it comes out, we look at it and we. So this is done, right? And it's easy, right? All right. You'll make your judgment once you see the one that comes from Elders Imaging and how, whether this is better or that one is better. So first, we're going to right click and we're going to go to properties. 
I already classified this into four classes. Five classes, sorry. Classified and it's already on five class. So we either use this and then we click apply. So we we'll left click on this and click on format. Uh, then you make it either a three decimal place. You click on OK select click then you format level right so that you have these numbers um arranged well so that it won't be as hazard as this then you click on applied and then we get to see this so this is our ndvi this is our ndvi so you can see that we have a value of minus 0 0.1 and if you check this is our reverse if you check 0 0.1 we can say it's large then and 0 0.2 you can see there's a dense vegetation so basically this is uh, how you calculate ndvi on arcgis so i have a video i made on how to do this in uh Elders imaging so i'm going to leave the link to that video on the description you also check that um, out and then i'll see you in the next video where we'll be discussing the other part of the indexes available in ArcGIS and in Ardas Imaging. So go, don't go anywhere, just get a cool Zogo and chill as to bring you more content in this month. So don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment and uh, bye for now.